Hi everyone and welcome to our third session of What They Don't Teach You at Church. On Saturday we looked at what made the wise men follow that star and I said that the sign of Virgo has always been associated with um, that verse in Isaiah that a virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and you will call him Emmanuel. But how do we know that Virgo was associated with that verse and with others that represent Jesus? The first thing we look at is the names of the constellations themselves, the uh, decans, which are the smaller groups of stars. We also look at the names of the stars themselves. Uh, we look at historical sources. And all of these for us point to the fact that the sign of Virgo and its various decans were representing Jesus coming again, or Jesus, sorry, Jesus coming the first time. Now, I'm just going to read a portion, and it'll show on the screen, from Albumazar, who was an 8th century historian, and what he had to say about the sign of Virgo. There arises in the first Deccan, as the Persians, Chaldeans and Egyptians, and the two Hermes and Ascalaeus teach, a young woman whose Persian name denotes a pure virgin sitting on a throne, nourishing an infant boy. The boy, I say, having a Hebrew name, by some nations called a Hesu, with the signification Iezer, which in Greek is called Christos, and that's by Albumazar. So what he's saying here is that the Persians knew that that sign in Virgo of the Virgin sitting on a throne nourishing an infant boy referred to Jesus, or Jesu, and Yeza, Messiah, also called Christ. Now, another way we know about the stars and what they mean is the names of the stars. So in Virgo, we have Alzamech, which means the branch, Sparka, which means a seed, Almuridin, which means who shall come down, Subila, who carries, and Alazal, which also means the branch. Now let's take a look at a seed, Sparka. With that star, we see the prophecy as in Genesis 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. And he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. And then we have a look, there are two stars that mean the branch, Al-Zamech and Al-Azal. And in Jeremiah 23, verse 5 to 6, we read, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he will reign wisely as king and administer justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. And this is his name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. So obviously that righteous branch is also referring to Jesus and it can also be seen in various other verses in the Bible that Jesus is referred to as the branch. So as we can see both the meanings of the names of the stars as well as the historical sources point to the fact that Virgo represented Jesus being born of a virgin and his first coming. And it wasn't only Albumazar who was our historical source, but we've also seen articles uh, like we mentioned on Saturday with Zoroaster's prophecy, including the fact that Virgo represented the Virgin giving birth to a son. So I trust that you've enjoyed this session and found it informative, and we look forward to being with you again. Goodbye.